How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is John. I am completely blind and today I'm gonna give you guys an iMovie tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how a blind person uses iMovie to make movies. Um, earlier this year when I decided to start a YouTube channel, um, I did a lot of research into um, editing software that was accessible to blind people and iMovie um, by far and away is the best one it can be downloaded from the App Store so it is available for anything that um, any product that Apple puts out iPad MacBook um, iPhone um, most of the functionality within iMovie is accessible. Some of it is not, however, um, and I'll talk about that as we go through this little tutorial. So I'm going to just show you guys. I'm recording my screen for my blind viewers, so you can just follow along with voiceover as I go through this video. And for sighted viewers of this video, uh, you can just follow along uh, and just ignore the voiceover. Uh, however, for those of you who are blind, uh, like myself, we need voiceover. Uh, voiceover is an accessibility application that Apple has built into the iPhone. Every iPhone since, I believe, iPhone 3 um, has this feature. It is free. It comes with the phone. It's a fantastic uh, accessibility feature. It allows blind people to text and browse Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, send email, surf the web, on their phone, which is pretty freaking cool. So, I'm going to um, highlight uh, iMovie icon. It's on the third page of my iPhone's screen. I have five pages on my iPhone. iMovie. Double tap to open. Use 3D touch to show home screen actions. Just to open it. So, iMovie. Selected. Projects. Button. To a quick voiceover uh, tutorial for people who don't know. Uh, voiceover basically reads out the highlighted icon on your screen. So you swipe around, it, uh, it'll read out the name of the icon that you're on, and to activate that icon, you double tap. So basically, that's what I've just done. I've highlighted iMovie, double tapped it, opened it, and here we are. So this is the iMovie main screen. I'm going to go to add project, or trailer. add project or trailer. Cancel button. Double tap. I'm going to New project, go movie, to button. Movie. Combine videos, photos, and music to make your own. So here's media. Back where button. I can add uh, a media clip, a video clip, or a photo clip. Moments, heading, cancel, select, button. So these clips are arranged in chronological order from most recent. So we're going to select yesterday. Yesterday. Created October 8, 2020. Duration 17 minutes, 34, so 7 seconds. I'm in the process of making a movie about... My guide, my guide dog. So we're gonna just play with this for a little bit. We're gonna double tap this. So this created October eighth, two thousand twenty. Duration seventeen minutes thirty four seven seconds. So I double tap that um, video. So now I'm gonna go bottom right of my screen to eighteen minutes. Eighteen minutes. Eighteen minutes. So that t tells me that the movie is gonna be eighteen minutes. I'm gonna left swipe to One item. create movie. Create. Double tap. Return to project list. Button. I'm gonna return to my project list. I'll tap this again. Back, so button. now we have an 18 minute movie. And video. I'll just play. Double tap to show high video can play. My movie 16. Button. Play. Button. Play. Good boy. Video. Do guide dogs know where to go? Yes and no. When you bring your guide dog home. Video. Okay, so that's the beginning of my video. It's all about. Uh, um, discussing whether or not guide dogs know where to go without you telling them where to go. Back button. Okay, back so button. We're gonna go back. So we're back. At our... Selected projects button. Oh, project okay, or trailer. So my movie sixteen. Gonna, okay, so my movie sixteen. That's the new one. Back button. So let's add, add. So basically, I could export this movie to my iPhone uh, camera roll right now, but let's let's just add a little function. Um, let's add a little flair to this. Let's add some music. My movie 16. This. Button. Delete. Button. Share. So play. I'm button. Edit. Button. Edit. edit. Return to project list. Button. 
And I'm going to Money 16. Help. Go Create to 17. 34. Dot. Insert media. Button. Insert media. A movie. Cancel. Button. And I downloaded a song um, from the YouTube studio. Videos and photos. I like. So we're gonna swipe over to Moments. files. Video, photo, albums, audio, camera, voiceover, files, files. It's the very last one. We're gonna double tap that one. And I Unruby. have a bunch Browse. of Back voice button. recording and uh, tracks and audio tracks that I've downloaded from YouTube. So we're looking Recents. for. Tab. One, two. Selected. Select. Selected. Moonlight Sonata. Yep. Moonlight underscore Sonata underscore by underscore Beethoven. Bingo. 2020. 10. Zero. Selected. Double tap on that. So Return to project list. Insert button. the music track. We're gonna go return to project list. Return button. to project list. Back button. We're gonna go to play. Video. Play button. Play. Good boy. Need some forward. Do Video. guide dogs know where? Okay. Video. So the track is in there, but it is very quiet. Back button. So we we want to make that track louder. Now, one thing I found with a movie is if you try to make something too loud. Um, it'll just default back to the original setting. So um, that's, I, I, I really don't know why it does that. That kind of bugs me, but whatever. Play, my movie 17, edit, so button. we're going to go back Play. to edit, button. edit. Edit. Return to project list, we're going button. to go to... My movie six. help, button. Create October 8th, 17, 34 dots, click one background audio track. So the, 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 this is clip one and background track. So this is the uh, uh, the music file that I've added. We're gonna double tap that. Clip one background audio track. And we're gonna swipe over to foreground. Insert previous clip. Play. Undo. Dip. Split. Uh, foreground. Button. Double tap foreground. that. So that basically moves the track from the background to the foreground. So now we're gonna go top left to return to project list. Return button. To project return to project list. list. Button. Return to project list. Back. Button. We're gonna go to play. Play. And button. We're gonna see if this is better. Play. Perfect. Good boy, need support. I'll play this for a little bit. Do guide the dogs know where to go? Yes and no. When you bring your guide dog home from guide dog school, they don't know your environment the way you do. So it is your job as the handler to work them effectively and show them uh, where to go. It is their job to get you there safely. Now that said, the more familiar like your this. dog gets with your environment, the more familiar they get with routes you take. So yes, there comes a point where yeah, it is possible boy. to put your dog on autopilot, depending on where you're going, and they can effectively take you there with yep. not much input from you. Originally, I wasn't going to put this track in, but I think So I today we're going to do a route that Neeson is familiar with. It's a route that we haven't done in six months because of the pandemic, but it is a route that he and I uh, would do three or four days a week. Yeah. So there you have, that, that's what happens when you uh, add music. Um, let's, let's, let's just be creative and be funny and we're going to add a sound, sound effect. Um, just to give you guys another example of what you can do, so. Play, button, um, my movie 16, button. Double tap to edit project name. We're going to. 17 minutes, 35 seconds, edit, edit button. Edit. So I think. Edit. I Return can to project list. Insert this sound effect right where I paused the video. I'm not sure. We'll find out. So we're going to swipe over to. 16. Help. Insert. Button. Create October 17. Th click one. Insert media. Button. Cancel. Button. And Videos and photos. Moments. Audio. Video. Photos. Albums. Audio. Soundtracks. We're going to music. Go to sound, sound effects. effects. Search. Search field. Alarm. 5.2 seconds. Applause. 9.0 seconds. Put in some applause. Selected. Applause. 9.0 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's the sound effect. We're gonna sell, we're gonna swipe right to use music. Use button. music. Return to project list. Button. Go back to uh, return to project list. We're gonna back, go to button, play. Video, play, button, play. And we'll see if it puts it in where we can. Do guide dogs know where to go? Yes and no. When you bring your guide dog. Video. So as you can see, it put the applause at the beginning. It's not where where we want it. Um, this is an one of the accessibility fails with the iPhone with voiceover. I can't just drag this where I want to put it. Um, 
there is a way for me to uh, put the, f the applause where I want it. I have to erase this new track and place it. So let's do that. I'm going to go to edit. Help. Create a Twitter so now there's two clips in the foreground track. I don't know which one is which, so I'm going to just delete one and hope it's the right one. Duplicate. Background. Split. Undo. Play. Previous clip. Insert media. Click one foreground. Insert. Previous. Play. Undo. Settings. 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 Undo. Play. Previous. Insert media. Click one foreground. 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 Swipe right to delete. Play. Undo. Split. Background. Duplicate. Delete. Button. Delete. Go to top left to My movie 16. Return to, return to project, project list. Button. list. Okay, let's play this again. Back. And button. See if Video. It... Play. Button. My movie 16. Play. Button. Play. Okay, so it erased the one I want to erase. Play. So, so what you need to do here My movie 16. is 17. you need to go button. to edit first. Return to project list. Then My movie. Help. Create. Play. 17. Click 1. Insert media. Previous clip. Play. Button. Pause. So... Do guide the dogs know where to go? Yes and no. Play. So when you go to edit and then you go to play, then when you pause it, that's the track pauses right where uh, you pause it. So I can now go to insert. Previous clip. Insert media. Button. It took me a while to figure out Cancel. this Button. little uh, workaround. Moment. Video. Photos. Albums. Audio. Audio. Soundtracks. That's enter a different sound effect. Anyway. Music. Sound, sound effects. Sound effects. Search. Search field. Bubble. Camera shutter. Cast speed. 2.0 seconds. Go to, uh, camera shutter. 0.5 second. Camera shutter. Selected. Camera shutter. Okay. 0.5 second. Use music. Button. We'll use that. So now when Return I go to back list. to Button. project list. Let's go Button. to play. Video. We'll see if Double tap to show high video controls. Button. Play. Button. Play. The boy needs support. Do video. guide the dogs know where to go? Yes and no. When you bring your guide, Video. so you just heard the camera shutter, so yes, when you go to edit and then press play, uh, wherever you pause the track is where you can insert whatever you want to insert. Okay, so we've we've got our little movie, we've made our little sound effect. Back, button, We're back, going button. to export it to my phone. Video, play, my movie 16, We're button. We're going to do this by 17 minutes 30, edit, to button. share. Play, share, delete, button, share, button. Share, my movie 16, video, And I'm going to go to save video. Button. Say video. Choose an export alert. Choose an export size. No, I'm not going to save this because I don't have much room on my phone. But um, I, I want to select... Small 360p. Button. Medium 540p. Button. The highest option. HD 720p. Button. I believe it's 1080p. HD 1080p. Button. Yep, so that that's the one that I would select. I would double tap that and it would take... This is a 17 minute video, so it would probably take 10 minutes to export. Uh, and then you could open up your camera roll and it would be there. So I hope that gives you guys a little bit of insight um, into how... A blind person uses iMovie. Um, I'm still learning. Um, I'm still trying to figure out some stuff. But it has definitely helped me a ton when it comes to, to making my own little movies independently, which is pretty cool. See you next time. Cheers.